The while loop allows us to add repetition to our program. So if we want to run multiple statements over and over and over again, if we have a bunch of records of information we want to process through each record and check some information, so it really adds a lot of power to our program. Here I have a simple if statement. You know from the last video that the if statement evaluates a condition. If the condition is true, then it runs the body of the if clause, or the if statement in this case. And then it continues on with our program. The while loop is almost identical. Just a couple differences, and let's talk about those right now. The first is this keyword, instead of being if, is while. And instead of just running the statement one time and continuing on, it's going to run it. But when it encounters the end of the while body, it's going to continue up and check the condition again. So there's one thing that we need to add. We need to modify something inside the condition so that eventually this condition becomes false and we continue on with our program. Okay, so we call this variable that's part of the condition the loop control variable. The loop control variable. And here's the most simple example of modifying i. We're going to add 1 to i. That's the increment operator, by the way, if you haven't seen it. It does the same thing as this. So we're going to go through here. We're going to uh, we're going to encounter the while loop, check the condition. If it's true, we run the while body, and then we continue back up to the condition. If it's true again, we run the while body. Eventually, when we reach a false state or a termination state, then we end the loop. We do not run the while body, and we continue on with the next statement in our program. Okay, so let's just run this once so you can see kind of the flow of that. Okay, so we're going to run run through it. Uh, i is equal to 1. In this case, the condition is true. 1 is less than 10. So we run the while body. And notice we've encountered the end of the while body. So now we're going to continue back up. We're going to turn back up to that while condition. And we're going to check this condition again. If it's true, then we continue on with our program. So we're going to continue running this. So i is equal to 5, i is equal to 6, i is equal to 7, i is equal to 8, should have made it 3, i is equal to 9, and now i is equal to 10, we continue back up to the condition, it now evaluates to false, and so now we skip out of the while body. And that's it. That's very simple repetition. The while loop allows us to add that. Uh, remember that we need to have a loop control variable. We'll initialize it to a starting value. We'll check this loop continue. We can call this a loop continuation or loop termination condition. And we need to modify the loop control variable inside of the while loop.